Today I'm here in beautiful Dalton, New Hampshire to showcase a community coming together to try and protect a state park and surrounding ecosystems. And I'm here today to save Forest Lake! Forest Lake State Park is a beautiful forested area with a pristine lake, perfect for hiking, swimming, boating, and enjoying nature. And it's all free to everyone. But something is threatening it. Right now, there's a controversy whether or not a landfill should be built just a quarter mile from the lake, destroying some of the local wetlands. Now we turn to some of the locals to teach us more, what this landfill would mean to them and their families, and how we can help. My first interview is here with John Swan, the founder of SaveForestLake.com, who's been fighting for years to save this area. Hi, John. Jack, welcome to the beautiful North Country and welcome to Forest Lake. Look at the natural beauty here. Yeah. You hear all the noise going on right now? Mm -hmm. There is no noise. <laughs> exactly, right? there's nothing. The wind's blowing in this direction to us and smell that air. It's fresh. Very. It's crisp, it's clean. Mm. Well, in that same direction where the wind's coming from, a private waste company out of Vermont wants to create a 180 acre plus mega landfill, only 2,800 feet from the water's edge. It's forested habitat home to, to other creatures that rely on that wetlands complex. And it's going to have a devastating, far reaching impact on life as we know it in the North Country. Not to mention, obviously, the noise impacts from the heavy, heavy tractor trailers and equipment, mm. as well as obviously the landfill odor. Mm. Uh, there's a state park beach and a state park forest um, that's free for uh, anyone that comes here, tourists, residents, and you can't beat it. And it's so nice knowing that we're jumping in water that is clean. It's not yeah. contaminated water. And so it's going to be healthy for us. So imagine down the road, if you're a tourist, Jack, are you going to come up here and want to frequent the state park beach knowing there's an operating landfill definitely only 2,800 feet away from the water? No, definitely not. So what would it mean to you if the landfill would go in? It would break my heart. Oh, my p favorite part is the peace and serenity and to be able to just sit on the dock and dip my toes in the water and watch the wildlife. I have been helping the issue through the help of uh, social media. Uh, we, I've gone to rallies, I've written many letters, um, and I've, uh, my grandchildren have uh, created a poster and we make signs and buttons and we've, we, you know, we've been getting the awareness out. I'm here today with Berkeley, who is Peg's granddaughter. We've been going to a lot of the rallies. A bunch of adults going is helpful, but like if there's like a kid that kind of understands it, it's a lot like it touches people different, I guess. Like it makes them understand more. The natural beauty of Forest Lake is inspiring. Standing at water's edge, I wondered, how did it get to this point where we are considering putting a landfill next to a state park? where adults and children come to play and relax. I had a fireside chat with some of the community to learn more. What would it mean to the wildlife as well as the lake itself? There are camps on this lake that actually draw their drinking water directly from the lake. That's how clean it is. Wow. In fact, that land has actually been identified by the state of New Hampshire as being a biodiversity a section of the woods there too, which should be protected because of the vernal pools that are in the, in the um, in the woods as well as the uh, wetlands that are out there. Why would they build a landfill so close to a state park? I can't think of any reason as to why anybody would actually want to uh, um, to destroy this uh, this lake. It shouldn't be done because um, you know I grew up in this lake, my uh, celebrating it with my four brothers and my sister, and I just think about the wonderful time I had as a kid out here. And just to think that all of that is in jeopardy if we actually think about actually allowing to have a landfill the same size as this lake built right next to it. I'm Adam Finkel. I'm an uh, environmental scientist. I teach uh, at the public health school at University of Michigan. I used to teach at Princeton and at University of Pennsylvania before that. And I uh, had a career in government. I was the chief scientist at the Occupational Safety and Health Administration in Washington for some years. Over the hill where the site will be are seasonal wetlands and permanent wetlands and channels that go right into the Amanusik River, which then goes to the Connecticut River, which goes to the ocean. I'm thinking more of my daughter, who's a little older than you, she's 21, and she would, I'm sure, love to vacation here and maybe move here 
someday and raise her kids and grandkids. And, um, you know, as I told you before, we've tested this water. It is free of any harmful substance, and that could change in a heartbeat with this landfill here. And once it's, as I said, once it starts, it's no turning back. Another person I spoke with was Lance Young, chief of the Namaska tribe. Although I was not able to meet him in person because of indigenous powwow season, I've connected with him through email. He's very kind and inspirational, so I'll let a quote from him wrap up this video. We will be judged by the condition we leave the earth for those not yet in existence. I ask you to consider the impact your decision will have on your children, grandchildren, and beyond. What side of history will you be on? Will your descendants praise you for leaving them a sustainable planet, or will they curse you for leaving them a planet where they struggled to survive? Ask yourself, what kind of being could ever disregard the majesty of this place? It is this very disregard for and disrespect of the earth that has brought us to this defining moment for the very survival of life as we know.